Ferrari, a Ferrari, a Ferrari tem nem rei. Ask the local indigenous people, the Maori, and they will tell you how the volcano was formed. Being held that they are alive. Thank you for joining us, Prime Minister. This is devastating, isn't it? It, it absolutely is. Um, eight. Um, uh, at this stage confirmed missing 31 in hospitals uh, across the country um, and uh, of course uh, focus this morning is, is on um, recovery ensuring though that police can do that safely. So eight people missing and the, the worst is presumed and five lives lost yesterday. That, that is correct. Um, uh, missing is, a, is obviously the, the language that's been used here. Of course, um, great effort is being undertaken to reconcile those who um, have returned to the mainland um, and have been taken by emergency services to Burns units across the country. So to just give people a bit of a sense, they are across Wellington, Waikato, um, Christchurch, Whakatane, Tauranga, The Hut, um, utilising the best expertise and care across the country. Um, of course, uh, um, making sure that we understand precisely who uh, those potential victims are amongst uh, uh, the, the different lists that we have has been a critical focus for the police. Uh, some of the people, it's believed, are off the cruise ship that are still anchored in Tauranga. Uh, do you know how many of the lives that have been lost are uh, uh, people from overseas, foreign tourists? Uh, we haven't given out precise numbers at this stage because, as you can appreciate, the police are wanting to make sure that their first liaison is with families. Um, but uh, we have confirmed that um, there are uh, uh, individuals from Australia, um, uh, from the United States, the United <laughs> Kingdom, um, from China and from Malaysia, uh, as well as New Zealanders affected. So they are amongst the eight missing or the five who lost their lives yesterday? Uh, I, again, I'd say that those are across right. um, across the group the of those who are in hospital. Yeah, okay. uh, could we have known? Should we have known? I know hindsight is a profoundly powerful instrument, but uh, w w were they at greater risk yesterday than they should have been? And look, the, as you will have heard from the press conference this morning, uh, these are questions that will, will rightly be asked. Today, um, the focus is on providing that critical care for those who have been injured, um, making sure that the police have the best information that they can um, to make those decisions around recovery and when that can occur. Um, we do... Uh, and will ensure that the appropriate authorities do answer all of those questions. Um, but just for context, tourism operations have been occurring on White Island for the better part of 30 years. Throughout that entire time, it has been uh, an active volcano. Um, yesterday, it was at level two. It has been, as I uh, had explained to me by GNS and volcanologists, it's been at level two um, uh, through multiple times um, across the uh, recent history. Uh, but again, we need actually to take a proper look at that and have the appropriate authorities to answer all of those questions. It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's such a balancing act because there's a lot riding on this for this community. 10,000 people a year go out to that island. By and large, they go out on commercial tours. They pay money to do so. They don't normally come in and out in a day. They will often stay the night and go to the beaches and eat at the restaurants and spend money here. So there are commercial imperatives. 
to, to make that work and to keep it going. Had we, have we become too casual about the safety on what was an active volcano? And again, these because these are um, questions that go to um, the heart of the issue, um, you'll forgive why uh, I, I don't wish to, to get ahead of what needs to be really a proper investigation with people with expertise. Um, that of course goes well beyond the information I have or the scope. Um, we will answer those questions. Today, um, the focus very much on supporting this community and supporting those affected. Those affected, as you said, include Australians. You've heard from uh, Scott Morrison, the Australian Prime Minister, who's offered you help with victim identification, I believe. Look, that offer has been made, but uh, equally, of course, we have um, experts um, here within the New Zealand Police. So I'll leave it to, to them on the ground to determine whether or not, in fact, they need that additional support. Um, uh, the uh, victim identification um, uh, team are ready and available. Uh, obviously, it's at this point a matter of working through, um, uh, very unfortunately, a body recovery. And that, that's a very deliberate use of word there. So this is a body recovery. This is not in any respects now. You very strongly believe, and all the advice you have is telling you a rescue operation. It is recovery, not rescue. And while I'll give um, strong caveats around the numbers, um, uh, what the police have advised is that since uh, the last individuals who were able to be evacuated from the island were evacuated, there have been reconnaissance missions over the island, um, uh, uh, that visuals have been taken of the island, uh, and in fact I am advised that someone did land and physically uh, look around the island, um, and that's the basis on which that confirmation uh, uh, has been given of um, there um, not being any signs of life. Yes, that was interesting, wasn't it? The police superintendent said that this morning. So last year the Defence Force put a 2.4 tonne uh, shipping container basically over there to provide shelter in the case of rockfall or precisely the events of yesterday. And it does sound like one of the helicopter pilots or someone on the rescue chopper that went over immediately did go and inspect that facility and it was empty. I can't give um, specifics on whether or not they physically went into that facility or not, but the information and advice that's come back is, has been that there's no sign of, of life on the island. How devastating is this for this community, Whakatane, uh, for Ngāti Awa? Because not only is this their business, not only have they lost at least one of their own, a cherished son, uh, but th this, is, uh, this pays a lot of bills in the city, doesn't it? Ka huri ngā whakaaro ki te tipuna nei i a ngā toroi rangi. Ko ia te tohu ngā irunga i te waka nei o te ara. Te rā te wā, ka whakaaro hia ia, ka piki atu ia arā ki te tiki, te maunga o tongoriro. Arā, e maunga kukarere, e maunga kukata. Au e atu rā ia, ki o nga tua hine, ki a te hoa atā, ki a te kukū. Ke heria mai te ahi te wā kāinga, whakatū mai ki tō nga taha. I te wā ia ia piki ana ki runga i te taumata o tongoriro, i te whakamaha ana i a ia. Orira kātau a ngā toroi rangi ki rungarara ki te tihi o Tongari. Katai, ātina na mai, ko te ahi a te tipua, i tira ko te hoa ta rā o ko te popu, o na tuahine o tira ngā tamarikia mahuika, i te whakamaha ngā iai. Orira koe inei te whānau tanga mai o te pui a o whakaari. Te puehu mai rā, e auahi mai rā, i te pō te ao, te ao, i te pō. Tēnei ka huri ki ngā whakaaro o ngā tipuna o te iwi o konei o mā tātua o ngā tia. I te wā i noho mai ai ngā mau ngā katoa ki roto i te rohe o taupo. Ko ngā mau ngā katoa e korero hea ke nei e ngā mā tua tipuna. E tamari ki katoa rā tau ngā tāne rā o ko hine tū pare mau. Kapita ki waho ko Tongariro Ko pīhanga, ko ngā rua hoe, ko whakaari, ko mautoho rā, ko pōhatua. O tira ko ngā maunga me ngā mautere katoa, ko te motu nei o ngā o te ao. O ia nō, ka whawhaitia ngā maunga nei, ngā te atāhu o pīhanga rā o ko ngā rua hoe. Kā paka ngā putaua ki kia tongariro, a kā paka ngā no te mutu ngai ho tō rā ua paka ngā, kai raro a putaua ki e putua. Nā te toa o Tongariro, kariro i āia, wei nei kā hui wahi nei maunga nei, a pīhanga rā ua ngā ua mai. Nō muri mai, kātahi kaneke pēnei mai, a 
whakaari me wāna tuaki. O pōhatu roa tēnei, arā ko mau toho rā tēnei. Ko wēnei ngā kāhui mauna, ka neke tahi mai tau, mai tau pō, ki ko nei arā ko whakatāneke. Nā te haere tawhiti mai o ngā mauna nei, i ngā mau tere nei. Ka makariri, o tira ka tahi a mau toho rā ka haere ki te kimi wahia, ki te whakamaha na i arata. Ka ngaro, ka haere ki te tiki i te wahia. I ai e ngaroana, ko ma kē a whakaari ara ki te moana nui a tangaroa. Mo te hokitanga mai, a tana tuahine i a mau tohora, ki te whakamaha na i a ratau. E, ka kitea, ko haere kē te tahi o raua, ara tana taina ki wāhi ki atu. Pukuriri tonu atu. O eira, ka whakaangia te ahi, ka whakakaangia ki runga, ki te wāhi anei, Ana ka titiro ki waho ki te moano o Tangaroa. Ka tahi ka pukuriri atu ka whiua ara ko te ahi tipua ki runga i a whakaari. O reira koe i nei te tīmata tangamai o te pui o whakaari e ai ki ngā kōrero o ngai ui o ko nei o roto o ngā tātua. O reira nau mai haere mai ki ngā kōrero pūrākau o te pui a o whakaari koko i a e ara e. When up close to this remote volcanic island, it reveals a lunar landscape with an eerie mist rising from the crater lake and the hissing and roaring that come from far below. The portion of the island that is visible above sea level has been in its present form for only around 16,000 years. Evidence of a constantly changing it's like you're entering a completely different world that blows your mind in a way. 